Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Reviews. And this is going to be my review of The Bachelorette. Season 18, episode 1. Now look here. I'm only here. I'm only here because Michelle is here. And there better be a, a good plethora, Neapolitan plethora of black men. And it's offering. Or I'm probably going to be cussing every episode. But I already look like this is going to be drama field. Let's see what happens. Shall we? Not the children, not the babies reading her. Not the baby reading her from the beginning. I can't believe she's gonna be kissing on 30 boys. <laughs> Wait a minute! I'm gonna need this to get through. Because I have a feeling it's about to be a bunch of foolishness. But. I really want to fast forward because it's two hours long. Jesus Christ. Let's go. So I'm trying to get through all of this. This blah, blah, blah. Bring on the men so we can get rid of them, some of them and figure out what the hell is going on. But uh, let's get to... Uh, I, and I... Listen. I'm a boy mom, so I understand. Why did... Where's Clayton's mama's friends? Miss Kelly, where are your friends to tell you that that, that top is not doing your shoulders any favors? You look like a line. I know I can't really talk because right now my head feels unproportionate to my body because normally I'm used to big hair. So I feel like my little tiny pea head and these big shoulders like I'm from Beetlejuice. But I see where Clayton get his body from because he got. She looked like when Peggy got out of the got the super serum, soldier serum and came out the machine. That's what she looked. I ain't got nothing else to say because ain't shit else happening. So I'm picking on Clayton's mom. Clayton, mom, I'm sorry. Let's move on. Maybe something else eventful will happen so I have something else to talk about. Another thing. I don't remember getting these long protracted introductions at the beginning of the men. Hi, my name is Brandon Johnson and I like to... F I'm eight. I like to fish and skate. Like what? We... <laughs> Like, I know some of these men, we're not going to see past this episode. I don't know. This baby looks like unleavened. This Johnson baby looks like unleavened bread. Like, he needs to go back in the oven at 450 for another 15 minutes because he's not all the way done baking. And he looked like one stiff wind will blow him up. Chop. Oh, God. I need a nigga with some weight on him. I can't. This is too much. I can't. You know who he reminds me of? He looks to me like a just a little bit more melanated version of Vinny from Jersey Shore. Is that his name, Vinny? The you know the famous one that went to jail, not the DJ, the other one. Him. That's who he reminds me of. So they going. They done brought men from Canada into this situation her girlfriends is kicking the men's out their little hotel their little quarantine hotel rooms to check they y'all y'all this this is a lot this is a lot happening before we even get to the pull up in the limo or the ice cream truck or the pickup truck or whatever truck vehicle you decide to make an impression with we only 17 minutes. Jesus Christ. This is two hours. Pray my strength. <laughs> and the drama begins. So, country boy who was born on the farm has a whole dossier with how to win the bachelorette how he's got notes on how to get more screen time how to act talk about how to be act super interested in her who to emulate past people who to emulate so that he gets more screen time so he gets in front of her child it's a whole thing and the little girlfriends done found it now i don't get kicked out for you even get on the show good 
You ain't even got out the hotel yet. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you mean to tell me y'all have all this drama. You find out this man got all of these notes about how to be, get more screen time. How to fake his way to the top. Excuse me, y'all. Um, and all of these things. And then the next thing y'all do is she's arriving. Um, she's arriving at the mansion and the men are getting out the limo and we don't find out about the boy. What kind of sh Okay. First dude out of the limo. He too is originally from Canada, but he lives in. Okay, so first of all, Nate has the most ridiculously long name ever. Second of all, he's cute in the face. He a little corny. We can live with that. We like a little corny. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what other kind of chocolate pieces run through here. And then we'll go from there. Okay, that second one is giving me, what's the little boy who was on the fake Bachelorette show? He was on RuPaul. And he was a judge and people got mad at him and he got camped. So, because they said, oh, he was too mean as a judge. He's got three names. Taylor Thompson. No. Jeffrey Boyer Chapman. That's who the second dude is giving me. He's giving me very much Jeffrey Boyer Chapman. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but we'll see. My man said my name is Jack Russell. Like the dog. There's a mosquito in here. Clayton is back. He can go. Now her friends peeking from behind the wall, making wrong assumptions. <laughs> talk about, is the teacher's thing? Oh, he's a teacher. They can be teachers together. No, he talk about being naughty and her spanking him with the child. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jamie. I like his smile. Something's on my radar and I can't put my, my I don't know. I'm praying that he, he don't be a jackass. So we'll see what happens. Chris has had chocolate before. I can tell by the, how his voice comes out of the back of his esophagus. This spoken word is, is not pulling it for me, but the timbre of his voice um, he's giving me very much spicy white like I know seasoning is supposed to go on the food that is what he, that's what that's what Chris is giving me at this juncture it might turn but for right now okay so yes for chocolate Olu uh, this baby who just jumped off this bus in these short pants in this backpack. No. Return to sender. No. Chris. Chris. No. What is it with the niggas named Chris? What? No. Not show me your titties. But to get the... The amount of corn happening right now as these men pile in. I, okay. Why does this child not have on any pants? Why does me? I, I, why do? Why don't you have on any pants? Why don't you have on any pants? My man's head is on a platter under a silver dome. Uh, what? Uh. And her little doofy girlfriends is talking about, have you ever seen a more innovative in... Them your friends. Because they stupid. This is dumb. No. So is he just going to stay under the table with his head on a platter the whole evening? Or are you going to come up from underneath that table? And how little do you have to be 
you know what? Mm -mm. So my man with all of the notes and shit has arrived. Why is he here? Why is he allowed to be here and continue on in this whole situation? When you know he has a whole thing happening with notes and how to get screen time and all this other stuff. Someone help me understand. Help me understand that. This man got a whole apple on the top half of his body. Talking about I want to be the apple of your eye. No. Peter, also no. Daniel on the fire truck, big fine. But it, his fineness quotient went down because you had to scoot your on this little toy. <laughs> Y'all, I cannot. What the fuck is happening? I know you didn't let this black man scoot his ass in here on a child's fire truck and then let another nigga come behind him in a real fire truck. I know not. I know better. <laughs> PJ has arrived in an actual fire truck. Um, Daniel is in his feelings like I, I what? They trifling and shady for doing that shit. I'm here for it because the more drama, the better. Why Jersey Shore to baby, baby, baby shark, do, 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 in the famous words of El Teddy. Jersey Shore is talking about, oh, he, PJ looks like a good looking dude. Daniel's looking at him like, for real, nigga? I'm, that's what we. <laughs> this I'm a, not douchey McDouchebag showing up in a bed. He rolled up in a bed. A whole, uh, okay. Job next. I would just like to say yes to this rapid fire of niggas showing up. What's not clicking, Stephen? Come on, send the funds. Like, let's move this along because let's get into the dramatizations of this boy having all these notes and is her friends are really going to tell her or have her out here looking stupid. Can we, it's, we 46 minutes. Can we speed this up? Let's, let's, let's go. We got other things to do. Okay, so the one nigga they got. That's not the one man from Minnesota. Happens to be black. And she was like, you look real familiar. And he was like, no. He's like, okay. And she was like, have I slid into your DMs? He's like, we'll see. And she was like, is your last name Coleman? And he was like, yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. Ruh -ruh raggy. Okay, so she clearly she slid into your DM, so she's like, What you got going on? Okay, okay, I'm not mad at this. I'm not mad at this. Joe could come in and scoop up, swoop her up, and they ride off happily ever after into Minnesota in the freezing cold. We'll see. My man is still under this table with his head on a platter. Why? 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 So if he gets a rose, are they going to roll him over to, like, okay. Okay. It doesn't make any sense. I forgot the host got fired because he tried to. Okay. So uh, apparently it was some small talk about basketball and then they didn't speak again. He ghosted her. But she's glad that he's here. Um, The friends still haven't told her about the, my, my boy with the notes. Y'all just going to let her be blindsided by that? I don't. Okay. Um. Oh, the host. I was wondering where the little white host man, and I forgot he got fired. He he escorted himself out after he tried to take up for the little racist girl from the last season. That's why the two little stupid friends are here, because there's no host. Let's see how the... So I guess one of the little girlfriends is just going to come in and state the obvious. It's time. You use three roses left. We can clearly see there's three roses, daughter. They could have hired me for this. I could have done this. Shout out to Michelle for grabbing the bull by the horns and immediately having a conversation about and Joe having an, an open, honest conversation about why he ghosted her and what was going on and wow. something about property and Minnesota and George Floyd. And 
he was anxiety and he was going through and he just couldn't effectively communicate that to her at the time. And, but he's working on it. He's going through therapy. He's getting help with the communication part. And she was like, yeah, because now I need to make sure that I protect myself too. You've already ghosted me one time. How do I know you won't do it again? So she's like, I don't have an answer for you now, right now, but I appreciate you being honest and us having this conversation. We're going to see what happens if he gets a rose. He was like, I came here for you. They all came. Okay. I really want this young man to come from out of this table. Like, it was cute at first. And now it's just weird. It's just weird. Yo. Ta between Table Boy and Apple Snack. Like, cute. <laughs> it is still 52 minutes left in this show. Can we can we just jump to the rose ceremony and start cutting niggas out so we can get down to? I, my patience is thin. It's it's real thin. So was Ryan having all these grandiose plans and, and stratagems and, and and notes and things on how to get more screen time and how to how to win the Bachelorette? Uh, did anybody vet that he actually coaches for special needs children? Anyone at all? Anyone. Anyone. Bueller? Bueller? Or, because this could all be just smoking mirrors so he could get to the next. Like, okay. So they waited until after. Now, they waited until after she had a pleasant experience with this young man before they dropped the hammer on her about his foolishness trifling everybody trifling hey jesus fix it not him getting caught in a lie and trying to finesse his way out of it and she saying well let's go get the notes let's see what the notes say get them girl because what we not finna do please don't don't be a cheddar head and allow this this big pompadour fool to finesse you into letting him stay. Get rid of it. Oh, thank God. <sighs> so she read the oh, she was like, mm, gonna listen to the red flags that are flashing across the screen in front of my face and ask you to leave. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. He clearly was being manipulative. She read the notes from his friends about him being arrogant and a jackass and keep those thoughts to yourself. And then when she gives, tells him, I'm going to have to, uh, no, I'm going to listen to the red flags and you're going to have to go. This is how you know he was trying to manipulate and control her. Is there any way that I can make you change your mind? No, you will have to take the no and, and walk on out the door, sir. That's it. That's all. The end. Goodbye. Whew. Jesus, this is a lot. Not that got him sitting on the curb outside. <laughs> well, that's what happens. That's you that's what you get, sir. That is what you get. Okay, so first impression rose has gone out and it went to Nate with the nice smile and open vulnerability and he was able to So he's got the first rose. Yay, Nate. Um, let's get to this rose ceremony so everybody can stop being nervous because you really probably only gonna shop like three people out of the 30 that's standing there. So let's get in. Let's come on. Let's get into this. I'm ready. As I look across this group of men, I feel like the melanin level is not high enough for me. But I, okay, just an observation. Child, they pulled out this big drama at the end about whether or not she was going to give Joe the last rose, you know, after he ghosted her and stuff. And she had to take a walk and breathe and think about it. And then she ended up giving him the rose. And so the personal trainer with no sleeves and the, I think the NFL player and another dude got <laughs> chopped. Okay, so that's how the episode ended. It looks like this season is going to have a lot of dramatizations and shit happening. I'm here for all of it. I'm rooting for Michelle and either, and I'm rooting for Joe and Nate. 
for right now until someone else pulls something out of the bag. We'll see what happens. Who you got your picks? Patty Duke, I'm waiting for your, your, all your comments, baby, about what happened in this episode. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a kin, and I'll catch you in the next one.